And welcome back, this is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft II commentary. I am the Blue Terran in the Southwest on Delta Quadrant, which means that I am playing a Terran apparently. I've still never played anybody in the League um, or on a ladder on this map, only against AI. I am playing up against Nocturnal, the Red Terran, in the Northeast. He only comes out at night. I don't know if you guys knew that, Nocturnal. He's like an owl or something, or a bat. I'm pretty nocturnal myself. I'm actually recording this after midnight, as is as per usual. I did actually play this game today. This is uh, quite strange for me. I usually wait a few days uh, before I come back and broadcast it. Um, that supply depot, uh, it's kind of a weird placement, but he is scared of Reapers, which I have not gotten since the patch, I'll be honest with you. That just haven't been effective for me. But I did see a couple games where they have been effective. Even in the later game, they're not necessarily a rush-only class. Um, you know, even if he can see you, if I get three Reapers up here, they can still do quite a bit of damage to the SCVs in the line. And here I catch him. Um, oh, not doing much, but he did send a couple SCVs to take me out. But I am able to see that reactor. I did not see that bunker, though. Right? Right. So I did not see the bunker go down, and he actually has to lift off uh, to get his three SCVs back inside. Bad micro on his part for the SCVs. And here I am able to send two marines into the Zelnaga watchtower. I don't know why that is. They have to apparently remain focused on the Zelnaga tower. If they see something coming by and they shoot it, that will go down. That's kind of weird. I'm not exactly sure how the Zelnaga tower works. Tech lab actually going up before the reactor is able to because I supply locked myself. But those supply depots are going down. I'm not going to finish off the block off here because I don't see, think it's that important. And since I have map control at this point, or at least I believe I have map control, and I actually do because of the Zonaga Tower there and you know, the, the bunker that I didn't know was there yet, I'm, I feel free to go for this command center here. It's going to be an early expansion for me because I have so many minerals. So I am going to be going for the reactor on the first one, three racks, uh, two tech labs, and a factory going up for me while I go for the expansion here. Um, but yeah, it seems pretty safe. Even when he sends his army out now, I'm able to get some early detection on it. Right, I already see it here. And I see that he stopped it. He, uh, He's in view of the Zelnaga Tower, and he's just waiting around. Wow. So, I, you know, here I'm kind of panicking. I'm like, oh, should I lift it off? Should I move it? Or should I just... No, looks like he's going to give me time to build up an army. So I'll just keep building it up. But in comes the SCV, just in case. And he's able to secure the Zell Naga Tower, but he used a stim to get it. Oh my, look at that. Uh, how much did he lose? Uh, I lost uh, an SCV and two Marines. He only lost one Marine, but look at that. That's, that's an insane amount of damage. What is that? 90 damage that he used on that stim pack to take out two Marines. And he scans right on my army as I'm moving it in. That's kind of lucky for him. So I'm willing to just accept the Zalnaga Tower here as he walks, as he runs away with Medivacs uh, to heal up so that Stim was not as pivotal in the game as I had hoped. But yeah, Stim pack to take out two Marines. A uh, fourth barracks is that? No, just a third. He did switch uh, the starport onto um, the reactor that was here, and he is going to be going for medevac drops, it looks like, uh, as they circle around. And I am still completely unprepared for it. Um, I usually, like I said before, nine, nine and a half minutes, you want uh, the... Let me get the production tab up there. You want missile turrets around the back for mutas. I did mention that, but you should also do it against Terran in case of banshees, or in this case, medevac drops, 
which are going to be going right into my mineral line. And of course, my entire army is out in the Zalnaga Tower. Gonna go for was gonna go for an attack, but now that has to be postponed. And I have nothing there in the middle of the map. Come on, guys, let's go. And so he's able to take out almost all of my SCVs, but I don't think he realizes that I have an expansion, so he thinks that he's going to win the game taking out this orbital command. Of course, I do have enough minerals because I haven't been spending them, uh, so I should be able to rebuild that. He's going to go for the engineering bay. No, I, my army gets there in time to start taking them out. Medevac up just in time. And I'm not able to take out any of the medevacs, including the one with three marauders left in it, as he circles around. And he still doesn't spot this expansion here, and I did get a planetary fortress there to help me secure it. Because it is in such a vulnerable position out here, uh, the planetary fortress I felt was the better choice as opposed to the mules. Not even going to stay at the Zalnaga Tower here. I am going to be going for the counterattack because I assume that he went all in on that medevac drop. And it does look like he did pretty much as he's switching the factory and uh, the barracks. He's going to go pretty much all marines and going to go for siege tanks out of this one. I'm not that big of a fan of the building swap like that. I mean, it works well in early game, but we are far too late in the game to be thinking about, oh, um, I want mass marines or I want siege tanks. You should have really thought of that earlier. Uh, I understand the tech switch idea, but its not, I don't think it's going to help him at this point. You can disagree with me all you want. But it does look like it's going to be a counter attack here that wins the game for me. A counter to the medevac drop. I don't think we've ever seen that. Hellion's coming out, even though he's got the seed. So he's not even going to be using the, the tech lab for anything positive. In come the SCVs. Are they there? No, they're going to be attacking. They're not running through. They're trying to get us around on the army. Um, but it doesn't look like they're getting that much damage done. Uh, of course, this medevac is out of energy. Nothing but marauders left. And massive amounts of reactors, so lots of uh, marines still coming out. He is down to just four harvesters, all on gas. Well, three on gas and one there. He ha He's forced to GG, and that is the game. A counterattack to a medevac drop. Um... I'm actually quite proud of this game. I was able to uh, get, uh, well, I never got my main base back up and running. So maybe not as proud as, uh, sh or too proud of this game uh, because I was able to uh, secure the win after losing um, my, my main base. But he, he uh, Unfortunately, because I went for that early push there, and I first, and I, I was able to secure this tower here, I felt comfortable going for the fast expansion that I would not have able, been able to get because uh, the debris has, of course, 2,000 life. That is quite a lot of life for two or three marines to take out. So I went for the fast expansion here, um, even though I did uh, not get the missile turrets around the base, and I actually lost this almost entirely. I was able to come back and take it because he was only on one base. So I hope you guys learned something. Hope you laughed. Hope to see you next time. Bye.